more day to go. So this is our last night in the hotel in a hotel room. And we are currently in Milford, Connecticut. And so yeah, we hit two stores today. We were gonna hit a third one, but they closed before we got there. So I do have stuff to show and I've got some video to show. We also, because we had to use a restroom, got off of the interstate and found this really cute little, I don't know if it was a, I think it's a state park. We found a cute little state park and um, it was called Kettle, Kettle something or other, Kettle Pond Natural Resources Park or something. I will put the information below and we went in and after using their facilities we we looked around the nature center and I took some pictures there as well as some video for the yarn shops that we went to and I will also be showing you what I got at each of the yarn shore stores so uh, just to give you some general information we have a give along running right now for a mystery skein of yarn and I will be announcing the winner on Saturday, October 7th. Uh, to enter, it's open internationally. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment or leave a question in the, in the comment section down below. So leave me a question. It can be about me. It can be about knitting. It can be about me and my husband, whatever. Uh, you just have to enter a, a question and just in case, normally I always respond and answer everybody's questions, but because everybody's going to be asking me questions, um, I'm actually going to answer them possibly with my husband if I can coerce him into sitting with me doing a question and answer on one of the episodes that will be upcoming. So I will respond by sticking a little heart next to your reply so you do know that I, I have read them. Um, but I'm not going to answer the questions because I'll do that actually online, sort of, you know, for real person type of thing instead of just typing it in. So that being said, um, if you are not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. And with that, I'm going to take you to the Nature Center. And then we will go right to the first yarn store that we went to. Stand by.
okay. The first place that, that we went to was Mystic River Yarns, and uh, I'm going to show you what I got. I did forget to mention before that I'm wearing my Yexa shawl. Get up close here so you can see it. Because it is definitely the weather has taken a turn for the coldness. It's rainy and cold today. We've had gorgeous weather on our vacation, and for the most part, it's been in the mid to upper 70s. Today, it's like in the low 60s. So I actually have had a coat on, a, a jacket on today, and have my scarf on, and it actually feels quite toasty and comfortable. So let me show you what I got at Mystic River Yarns. Here is their business card, and the information was in the video, but I just wanted to show you the cards anyway, and say a thank you to the owner, to Hansina Wright, for allowing me to photograph her shop. So let's show you. I got out of my comfort zone. I was determined I was not going to buy anything, even though I picked out something that was really, really pretty. And then I looked at it, and I was like, it's the same colors I always buy. There were some beautiful pinks and purples. I went, no, no, as much as I like it, I need to go something, with something different. So I bought this skein of yarn first. It is by Ellen Cooper, who is an independent dyer, and she is in Sprague, Connecticut. So she's a local dyer, and this is a 50% bamboo, 50% cotton. And it is a fingering weight, 225 yards. And the color is called Spice Grove. It says Jenny here, so I don't know if the color is called Jenny or if it is Spice Grove. I'm not sure, but here it is. And this is showing up pretty true to color. It does have my regular purple in it, I know, guys. But look, it's got olive green. It'll match the shirt that I'm wearing. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. See, olive green, it'll match the shirt. So that'll be good. And it's got some deeper greens right in here. Again, that will match the shirt. So it has like purples and tans and greens. And it is, like I said, a bamboo and cotton. So it's a summer weight, which will be nice because I don't have much in the summer weight department. So that was the local dyer that I bought. And then she also... And this one is called, it's, I, I'm thinking that this is called Cool Rooster, and then it says Angelinia. I'm thinking Angelinia might be the base that it's, that it's dyed on. Look at this. This is going to be gorgeous for Christmas. It's got like greens and blues and reds, and that is pretty true to color. And it's got sparkles, and the sparkles are in green. So, you know, Christmas tree, I'm going to look gorgeous on this. I definitely would not be the angel at the top of the Christmas tree, but there we go. Um, this is the one that I saw that they had in pinks and purples that I thought was really pretty until I realized that, yeah, I need to get something other than that into my wardrobe. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So this is pretty, and it, this is not like a Christmassy red red. It's a kind of a, a burgundy wine color. Yeah, it's pretty true. And I'll be showing all of these as a... A major haul when I get back to the house because the lighting in hotel rooms as you can see it's really dark behind me and so it's got like it's got blues it's got greens and yeah it's gonna be pretty and this is I didn't tell you what this is this is a 79% wool 18% nylon and 3% metal um, approximately 150 yards so this is gonna be a cowl definitely that's what that's going to be, because I'm not a hat person, so um, that's what this is going to be. And then I bought one more thing, and this is just plain white. It is a single spun. It is Maxima by Manos del Uruguay. There's the card. And the reason I bought this is because I really wanted to practice with my dyeing of yarn, and when I went to go to Peter Patch's, um, I still haven't, I've sent an email and I've called and I haven't heard anything back. So I don't know what's going on there. So I don't think I'm going to make it to get that, um, the sale that was going on, which was for a cone of cotton. So when I saw this, and this was very, very reasonably priced, um, 
it's cheaper than what I can order through the mail. So I thought this would be ideal. It is a single spun. It's worsted weight and it is 219 yards. So I am thinking I'm going to take this apart and put it into smaller mini skeins so I can practice a little bit more with the dyeing. Um, just not that I'm good at it, but it's fun to do. And so, yeah, so I got some white yarn and this is really, really soft, just super, super soft. Um, it is a fair trade extra fine merino. So I got that. And then they gave me a couple of freebies. They gave me a sample. It's in Jasmine of Rapture, which is a no rinse delicate wool wash. There it is. So that was really nice. So I was excited about that. And they gave me a free sample of a shielding lotion for your hands called gloves in a bottle. So um, that was exciting. I always like free samples and anything free. It's like plastered on my forehead. So that was what I bought at the one store. And now let me show you what I got at the second store, which was Madison Wool. And let's see, I was on the hunt for some hedgehog yarn. I've heard lots of people talk about it and I really wanted to try some. So let me first show you the business cards. There's a couple of them and I'll explain why in a minute. Here's the one business card, Madison Wool. And here, oops, well that's the back of it. And here's the other one. Now, the owner is named Dana Mankowski and she was not there that day because she also works another job. But in talking to the lady that was working there, she explained to me that the owner also is a fiber artist. She also does like, I guess, spinning and some dyeing. So, um, yeah. So anyway, check her out. Um, I have the contact information below. So yeah, give it a shot and check it out. Let me show you what I got. These are the two hedgehog fibers that I bought. Let me see if I can get this one so you can see the colors. Yeah, there we go. Of course it's got pink, because you know, I can't totally go on withdrawal with pink. So these are sock minis. This one is called Cheeky. And it's, it's pinks, and there's a little bit of purple, and there's some speckles, and it's mostly a white base, and there's some little flecks of like a grayish black. And it is 80... 80 meters, which is 87 yards. And it is a 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon. So yes, you could make socks out of this, but I'm not going to. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it, but I don't think it's going to be socks. So I got that. And then this one is the same, um, it's the same base, same amount of yarn, and it's called graphite. And it is more of, um, it's kind of a tonal charcoal color, which I thought would look cool with the charcoal colors that are right, like the little speckles that are in here. So these two together, I think, are going to look very nice. And again, I'm not sure what I'm making with them, um, but I wanted to try. I just wanted to get enough of it to give it a shot and, and use it because it is very soft. So um, I bought these. And then I had somebody was watching that posted something on Facebook and they had done a shawl out of this German yarn called Zauerball. And so I happened to see it and I decided, hmm, let me try this. And Zauerball, um, it is 420 meters or 459 yards. It's 100, 100 grams. And this is like a fingering weight, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty much fingering weight. And so I wanted to try it and look at the gorgeous colors. It's got some navy blue. It's got this, again, greens do not show up really well. This is all, it looks blue in here. It is not. It is 
it is about as green as you can get. It's it's almost a forest green, but for some reason when you record greens and teals do not come out real well. But this is this is a um, like you said, forest green, and then this is almost a magenta, and then there's this color in here that's almost a purpley wine color, and I'm not sure what else is in the middle of this. And there's a blue over in here. So um, I'm I think this is the same color as the lady that had posted something on Facebook did, and she had just done just a plain triangular shawl, but it was gorgeous because it kind of self stripes. So um, that was the other item that I bought there. So that was exciting. And that was the end of my shopping for today. And tomorrow we'll be headed home. There will be another another video because we're picking up our puppy. Um, my parents are babysitting, well, puppy sitting our dog. I, I say puppy, but she's actually like almost seven years old. But she's a little baby to me. So we're picking up the fuzzy baby tomorrow. So I will... I will post a little video of, of her, although she probably won't want to come home with us because my mother feeds her better than I do when she goes to her grandma, you know, she is like spoiled rotten because my mom warms up her dog food and puts a little cottage cheese in with it. And the last time when she stayed with them and she came back home, she turned her nose up at her food because I didn't fix it the way my mother did. So yes, yes, she has been spoiled and pampered. So, uh, She's going to get a reality check when she comes back home, but that's okay. We miss her. So she's just got white hair, just like her mom. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks again for stopping by. And don't forget to post a comment down below or a question down below to be entered in the giveaway. And I'll see you again tomorrow.